We're going to be talking about inventory aging reports and why they're important in your business. If you're a company that sells products online, you know that when you sell your inventory, you get free cash flow. But if you don't sell that inventory, all your money is tied up in your inventory. Running inventory aging reports will help you understand how profitable your business is and how long you're holding that inventory. Some people might hold inventory only for a week or two. Some people might hold it for six months or longer, all depending on your business model. The faster you can turn your inventory, the more profitable you will be and the less cash flow restriction you will have. In this video, we're going to dive into a few of the problems and a few of the solutions that we have for inventory aging reports. Here's the problem. Inventory that stays in stock for extended periods ties up capital and reduces your cash flow. The longer your inventory sits, the higher risk you have of it being damaged, losing it, it expiring, depreciating in value, or in worst cases, theft. So what is an inventory aging report? Now, an inventory aging report is a tool businesses use to track the age of their inventory. Common time periods include 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. They use software programs like inventory, which I'll show you here shortly, that helps you easily identify the age of every product you have in your system. So why is this so important? Number one, you're going to help identify slow moving items. Inventory that is stuck on your shelves and not selling is costing you money and tying up your capital. Number two, you avoid overstocking. You might have a product that sells well and you then end up buying a ton of it and it starts selling a lot slower. We can help you understand and avoid overstocking on these types of products. Number three, categorizing your best items. The best thing you could ever do in your business is find the exact 10 items that are your most profitable items and focus on buying and reinvesting in those items. It's crazy how fast businesses will grow when they're able to categorize their most profitable items. And the last thing we have is it frees up the capital you need to reinvest. Again, if your inventory is sitting on the shelves, that is capital that is not making you any money that needs to be reinvested into your business and reinvested into products that actually are selling. So you can use software like inventory to track all of these aging reports. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Number one, we can create custom aging reports based on every single category you can imagine. We can also identify individual product aging. So we can look at every product in our inventory and see how long we've had it in stock. We also have aging by vendor. So that, what that means is we can see how long on average it takes you to sell all the inventory that you purchased from your vendors. We can see which vendors are supplying us the most profitable items as well as the items are selling the fastest. And then we can give you a full aging report for all of your inventory. You can break it down by section, by specific brands, specific models, conditions, however you like, and we can determine how many items you've had in stock and how long they've been in stock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive into inventory right now. I'm gonna show you how aging ports work in a typical business and we'll go through and see if we can implement it into your system. Here we are inside inventory, under inventory and stock count. This will be a list of all of your inventory that you have available in your system. Now we wanna see on average, how fast our inventory is selling, and how long it's been in stock. The first thing we can do is we can see our overall average inventory hold time right here is 29 days. This is giving our average inventory a holding time based on the items that we have in stock. Now we can select this filter option here and hide a couple of these columns to make things easier. So I'm going to hide a few of them here and we'll just break down the products that we currently have. So here I have the brand model condition and quantity as well as all of the associated profit margins, the status of it, and the aging right here. We can see all of our products grouped together and how long they've been in stock. We can also filter this from high to low or low to high. So these we just got yesterday versus our oldest ones we've had in stock now for 63 days. So we've had a lot of inventory in stock right here for 63 days that we need to sell. This is great information for your business because you can identify your slow moving items. We can also click on this on an individual basis and break down every single item. So if we sell products like iPhones with unique serial numbers. We can see all of our iPhones and we can see on average how long they've been in stock. So many different iPhones we have have been in stock for over 58 days. We need to make sure that we sell those to remain profitable before the price drops on them. This is how you evaluate inventory to make sure that you are profitable 
that you're not losing money as you grow. I'm going to show you a few other things we have here too. You can go under the vendors section here and we can see all the vendors that we bought from, the purchases that they've made, and we can also see the average age of every single vendor. So we can see this takes on average 20 days to sell this vendor's inventory that we buy and we make it average 15% ROI. This one takes a little bit longer to sell, but we make a bet much better ROI. We can go ahead, look at every single purchase, and we can see on average how long it took to sell. This product right here, we sold immediately in one day. This product took 10 days to sell, and this product at the very bottom took 53 days to sell all 49 units. Give us an understanding of the types of items that we should be purchasing over and over. Now, if we want to look at this on a, on a view based on the last month, we can go to the dashboard. We're going to click on last month here. And we can see every single product that we have in our inventory that sold and how long on average it take, took to sell. So this is a lot of data. I can organize it here. I actually have this zoomed in. So if I zoom out for you guys, it'll be a little bit more visible. Now, what we're going to do is we can go down here to the sidebar. We're going to scroll over and we can see the age. Here is how long on average it took to sell. Some of the stuff, it didn't even take one day because we sold it on the same day. Some took a week. Some took a couple of weeks, others took 25 days. Now, this is all the inventory that you can see that you've sold in the last month in your system. You can see how many how many units you've sold and how fast they've been selling. This gives you great understanding to make sure you're profitable, you're not overstocking, and you can go through and make sure your inventory sells correctly. There are a lot of other options we can talk about. You can check us out anytime at inventory.com. We'll be able to assist you set up your account and build out a system where you could predict these types of things and have this understanding about your business. Hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.